Hi everyone, this video is about the universal notation system. In this video, I'll discuss the universal notation system for both the deciduous and the permanent dentitions with examples. Universal notation system is also known as the American system. In universal notation system, each tooth has a unique alphabet in case of deciduous teeth or a number in case of the permanent teeth. Now, for the primary or the deciduous dentition, we use capital letters and it begins with the right maxillary second molar. It begins with the right second maxillary molar that we give it alphabet A till J for the left maxillary second molar. For the mandibular teeth, it begins with alphabet K in a clockwise man manner. After J, it comes K for the mandibular left second molar till T, that is for the mandibular second molar, molar of the right side. Now we will do some exercise of the universal notation system for the primary or the deciduous dentition. So this is a complete picture of a deciduous or a primary dentition. These are the maxillary teeth. These are the mandibular teeth. So these are the, there will be 10 teeth in a complete primary dentition in the upper arch and 10 teeth will be in the, the lower arch. This red line indicate a midline and this is the right side and this is the left side. So for the right maxillary first molar, this is the right maxillary first molar, this is the second molar. So for the right maxillary first molar, the notation uh, in the universal notation system is alphabet B. So this is B, alphabet B for the right maxillary first molar, that's it was first molar. So it starts with alphabet A. B, C. So B is for the right maxillary first molar. Now uh, for the next tooth, the left maxillary central incisor, this tooth is the left maxillary, left maxillary central incisor. For the left maxillary central incisor, the alphabet is is F. In the capital letter. So B after B it comes C, D, E and F. So this is for the left maxillary central incisor. Now we will do another e exercise for the right mandibular second molar. This is this tooth is the right mandibular second molar. This tooth is the right max mandibular second molar. This is the first molar mandibular molar of the right side. This is the second. For, for this tooth, the number the alphabet in the universal numbering system will be T. Because here it comes J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S and the last one is T. So this is the exercise for the primary or the deciduous dentition. Universal numbering system for the permanent dentition. The permanent teeth are numbered from 1 to 16 for in the maxillary arch. So the number starts with 1. For, uh, from the right side, this is the number for the maxillary third motor of the right side till 16 for the maxillary third motor of the left side. The numbering for the, for the mandibular arch start from the left side and start from number 17. The numbers go in a clockwise direction. From 17 for the lower left third molar till 32 for the lower right third molar. Now we will do exercise on of exercise of the universal numbering system on the permanent dentition. So 
this tooth is a right maxillary canine this is a pointed tooth that is a canine and it's the right maxillary canine so in the universal numbering system this tooth is numbered as number six this tooth is numbered as number six because the numbers start from one two three first molar four for the premolar second premolar five for the maxillary first premolar and six for the canine of the right side now for the left maxillary first molar this tooth is the left maxillary first molar the number is 14 the number is 14 for the left maxillary first molar after 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 for the second premolar and 14 for the first molar of the right side of the left side now left mandibular central incisor this tooth is the left mandibular central incisor now in the universal numbering system the number of this tooth is 24 so this tooth the number is is 24 and the 24 is 14 15 16 now in a clockwise direction 17 18 19 for this tooth 20 for the second premolar 21 for the first premolar 22 for the canine 23 for the lateral incisor and 24 for the central incisor of the left side so and 32 for this tooth the, the le right third molar mandibular third molar whether now it is very important that whether you are using fdi palmer or the universal notation system you must have a good understanding of the individual tooth morphology mm -hmm. because sometimes you have to number the teeth in case of mixed dentition retained teeth or the congenitally missing teeth thank you very much